The city of Tucson is looking deeper at what contributes to homelessness and how they can help pull people out of it. Nine on your side's Reina Preciado attended a forum today where city leaders laid out their plans for change. Reina. The 2022 point in time count shows a total of 804 homeless people have a mental illness, 556 have a substance use disorder, and 39 with HIV and or AIDS. Of these groups, 1,174 remain unsheltered. Now, a new initiative is focusing on housing these high need groups sp specifically. It's something that is important for us to keep talking about and working together. The City of Tucson Housing and Development Department and Tucson Pima Collaboration to End Homelessness want to use data to help those most in need. Today's conversation focused on a new initiative called FUSE, which stands for Frequent User System Engagement. This system collects data on who the frequent users are of costly crisis services like emergency rooms, jails, and shelters. With this initiative, what we know, and again, pr proven evidence-based practices is that when we coordinate those systems, that sharing of data and coordinating of resources, we see a decrease in the use of those different systems. This data shows which individuals have health or behavioral issues and provides them with the resources they need to get them housed. We can start really ending homelessness for, for individuals that um, just are high need. Morales heard from people involved with the homeless community and got feedback on the approach. Just having that step up, not a hand out, but a, uh, just a step up to um, being able to get back into the community. Jeanette Garment is a recovering addict and stays in an emergency shelter at the Wildcat Inn. Unfortunately, with my uh, record, that has been a major issue on um, being homeless. Garment is now nine months sober and says having shelter has helped her recover. I didn't have anything to to really worry about. You know, now that I do have the housing available, um, it's something to strive for to keep. She's waiting on her housing voucher along with other residents at the Wildcat Inn. Morales says this new initiative will help keep people like Garment housed. The goal is to end homelessness for the individual. City, city leaders say this will also save money by keeping more people out of hospitals and jail. In Tucson, Rainer Preciado, Kega 9 on your side.